you do anything, there are two things that you will need. You need to have access to some research paper or a web search tool or any kind of documents on which you can do question answering. And the second component is that you need access to some LLM provider. So in my case, if I go to settings, to model provider, you'll see that I've used OpenAI, but there are lots of other options like Anthropic, Cohere, free pay to make that setting. And a quick way to check if everything is working fine for you and you have correctly set up the model provider is that you'll see this green dot over here. And then you can also change which model you want to use. Here I'm using GPT-40 mini and for embedding model, I'm using text embed small. But you have this option to make the customizations. Once you have that done, what you can do for this specific use case of question answering, you can just go to templates. And then in templates, you have lots of options. Do you want to build an agent, assistant, a workflow, HR, etc. In our case, we will be building a workflow, which is basically a sequence of components because in RAG, you just want to do a retrieval based on user query. Then you can do re-ranking. You can then pass it to an LLM and then you can either present that answer to the user or there could be n number of components between each of these steps. So one of the simplistic kind of workflow that we have here is this knowledge retrieval workflow plus chatbot workflow, which is basically a combination or sequence of all these different components. So let's say I name it Maven Workshop demo. So once you do that, you will see this kind of workflow here. And the first step is knowledge retrieval. Then you have the LM and then you have the answer. The first step is that you need to create this kind of template or create a workflow from scratch. And once you have the LLM ready, the workflow ready, uh, the next step would be creating a knowledge base. What knowledge will this workflow use to answer your question? Thank you.